Hi students, I believe all you are taking required precautions during this period of corona crisis. Welcome to our first mathematics session for 10th Lakshya program. When you are in 9th class, from trigonometry, properties of triangles were started. Here I am going to continue this chapter. Before I continue, I want to brief 5 points which are useful for our upcoming concepts in properties of triangle. Of course, you all are well aware of these concepts, what I am going to explain. Uh, when you are in 7th and 8th standard, you learned these concepts. So, the first one is circumcenter. You know already what is circumcenter. Circumcenter is the point of concurrence of three perpendicular bisectors of sides of a triangle. You look at the diagram. In the triangle ABC, there are three perpendicular bisectors are drawn and they are meeting at a one point. That is called the circumcenter. The circumcenter is denoted with the simple capital letter S. So once again, I repeat the definition. Circumcenter is the point of concurrence of three perpendicular bisectors of sides of a triangle. Once look at the triangle. Where is circumcenter? For this triangle, circumcenter lies inside the triangle. But it doesn't mean that circumcenter always lies inside the triangle for any type of triangle. The location of the circumcenter may change from triangle to triangle. It depends on the types of the triangles. I, you already know it. This is acute angle triangle. For acute angle triangle, circumcenter lies inside the triangle. Now let's see different type of triangle. Look at this. It is obtuse angle triangle. Triangle ABC and obtuse angle is at A. Obtuse angle is at A and there are three perpendicular bisectors are drawn and all three perpendicular bisectors are meeting outside the triangle. Look at outside the triangle at D. So here for obtuse angle triangle, circumcenter lies outside the triangle. Now let's go to different type of triangle that is right angle triangle. Look at this right angle triangle. Here right angle is at A. Let's say right angle is at A and Three perpendicular bisectors are drawn. Look at all three perpendicular bisectors are meeting at one point, but the point is located on one side that is hypotenuse. That is hypotenuse. That means for right angle triangle, circumcenter lies on the hypotenuse. And most important point is the point is also midpoint of that hypotenuse. The side BC, look at look at the side BC. On BC, D is the circumcenter and also D is the midpoint of hypotenuse. So what we can see is for right angle triangle, circumcenter lies on the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So you saw three different types of triangles and how the circumcenter is formed for three types of triangles. So students, you understand what is circumcenter. Now let's see something interesting point here. When circumcenter happened in a triangle, it holds some interesting form, interesting properties. Look at this triangle, triangle ABC, and there is a circumcenter inside the triangle. What is the interesting point here is circumcenter is equidistant from three vertices of the triangle. What is circumcenter is equidistant from three vertices of the triangle? See here, from the circumcenter, two vertex A or two vertex B or two vertex C, the distance is same. Now what is the further interesting point is by taking this equidistant as a radius, if you draw a circle that passes through all three vertices of the triangle. See here how the circle is happened. This circle is happened because by taking that equidistant as radius, the circle is formed. See here the circle is called circumcircle and radius is called circumradius and center is called circumcenter. So, this is what about the circumcircle. 